Hello everybody and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. Um, so in the last episode, let's have a quick recap. I built up, I realised um, I'd run out of coal in the previous episode so I got some, um, got that trained down here into the base. And then I realised I was running out of iron as well, so it's a bit of a running theme here, or a running out theme. So I built up this mine, uh, got it loading up to a train here, and I decided for the time being I was going to dump it into uh, into the old um, smelting facilities here so these crushers and these uh, these furnaces um, this is I intended to be a bit of a stopgap because I really desperately needed to get the iron production back underway again because I was using I, I need so much ammunition to be pass, uh, flooding through to, to basically restock all of the ammo belts that run around my base um, given that I've been pulling I've been expanding so much that well there's some enormous gaps in it now um, in fact, if I look up here, yes, the ammunition hasn't even got round to the end of, end of the belt here, or it's just got round to the end of the belt here. So there's a, there's a lot more ammunition needed in order to make sure that I can um, keep everything ticking over and, and defended. I notice there's a couple of um, blue biters have spawned up here, so that's also a, a massive worry. And I think I'm going to need to try and develop some um, armor-piercing ammunition to deal with those. What else have we got? Um, so, oh yes, the other. Th so what I was planning to do once I got this up and running. Um, and so I'd sort of staved off the immediate threat, and the immediate problem, was to build up another refining area down here underneath this rubite one, doing much the same thing, um, same sort of general design, but um, but doing iron of course, and so I can hopefully then get a lot more being pulled through, because at the moment there's just there's just not enough um, there's not enough iron being produced here, as you can tell it's, it's still pouring through, it's being used up faster than it's being produced, so yeah, so I think the first thing to do well, there's actually there's several several things I want to do. One is I want to extend this, this radar coverage because all these gaps in my in my radar co coverage worry me, and they they just it just feels wrong. I like to have be able to tell what's going on around around about the base. Um, so that's that's going to be a very quick job. Then I want to build up the um, a smelting facility down here, and I want to get armor piercing ammunition running as well. And one of the things I was thinking of doing was finding another um, Jeeva light patch and just turning that into an ammunition factory because Jeeva Light produces both iron and copper and therefore can be, I could use that to just straight up produce armor piercing ammunition. The problem is there aren't any in, really in my um, in my sphere of influence in the areas I've got covered so this might not be very practical. Uh, I might end up having to do it with sapphire and stereotype which you know is, isn't a problem but it's not but it seemed I liked the idea of just being able to have a, a single self-contained um, mine produce basically produce, producing um, armor piercing ammunition if i can get it i could push walls up around here but i think i think i'd have start to have problems with these biters they are very very close to this area okay so right first things first let's do that radar that i was talking about so i don't want to have that radar there i want to have it down here somewhere okay so what my what's my range on these on these radars no put that there okay so that's so i want to put that in <laughs> i can't put it between the rails there isn't room so i'll put it there or would I be better off sticking? No, actually, second thoughts. Forget that. Let's stick it right over in the um, in the sapphire mine I've just finished. Put this radar here. That now covers. Yes, that covers this entire side of the um, um, of my base. So I want possibly another. Ideally, I want one about here to do the same in the other direction. But there's nothing. There isn't any power out there yet, and I'm not sure it's really worth running an extra cable out there. So for now, I'll put one back up here. It's not. It's not ideal because there's going to be a lot of overlap, but it'll, it'll at least get me um, full coverage of the areas that I'm worried about. Let's drive on this side of the rail just in case a train comes along. Oh, okay, so I can chuck down another radar here. It's, yeah, as I say, there's a lot of overlap between those two, but it does provide enough cover that it's, that it's still useful. Right, that was easy. Next thing is to is to go and have a look at that um, iron, iron production and see if I can get something a bit more... See if I can upgrade it a bit so that there's a lot more iron being produced. So that'll be down here somewhere. There's the rubite. That train's having problems. Why is the train having problems? Have I accidentally made this a one-way only railway line or something? I, th I thought I set it all up properly, but, you know, it's quite possible I didn't. It goes, come in there, come out that way. Okay, I don't see why that's having problems. Um, all the way along to the end here. Swing up here. Go into the station. Yeah, that looks, looks like it should be alright to me. That's, yeah, that's on that line. I don't know why that's getting a no path error. Oh, that's why. <laughs> right, damn trees. Always blocking my expansion. Where was that? Here we go. Does that fix it? Yes, now the train's on the move. Excellent. Okay, so if I'm going to do this properly, 
I'm going to need to turn this into a double set of rails. Can't have can't have if I'm going to have multiple trains going up and down here, I can't have them both doing it on the same set of rails. That just doesn't work. Uh, let's see. So this is right thinking right hand drive. So that should go down onto there. Uh, that signal then should need one there, one there, and one there, and one there. Uh, that line shouldn't be there, but I'll leave it. I'll leave it there for now while the other while the Rubite train is um might need might end up needing it. Uh, let's see. I'm also going to need trains to come in from the other direction. So let's see. I need that coming. No, that one will be coming from from here. <laughs> okay, from here, like that. And then this one would also come out, this, like that. Uh, let, actually, no, I will get rid of this. The, I've got enough rebite that I don't need to worry too much about running out of it. Um, let's see, can, do I have enough signals to do it? Do I, is there enough space to do all of these? And then one of those on the way out, on the way out. So that one's sad because it's got to it's the only, yeah. Um, yeah, so that whole thing there is a single block, but I don't think that actually matters because you can't have two trains in that end anyway. Um, yeah, that looks okay. I'm actually quite surprised that fitted, but also quite pleased because it means I don't have to go in and re completely redo that junction. I think I've possibly put the um, railway lines a bit too close together pretty much everywhere, um, but that, to be honest, is sort of a function of me not really having all that much space to play with because I'm chopping all the trees down manually and being a little bit uh, being a bit lazy about it i'll admit that and also using grenades and the width of a grenade um gr and a grenade's destruction isn't all that great so uh oh, which way is this going that one yeah so i'm sort of, to an extent i'm rely at least in the in the forest up the top where the mines are i've relied on the um on putting being able to put both sides of my um of my railway into the same grenade hole if you will and that's meant the lines have had to be very very close together Later on, once I get bots, as I say about absolutely, every, as I say all the time, I can make that a bit more, um, a bit more open. It'll be a lot easier to spread the um, spread the rails out, because the bots will do all of the tree tree cutting for me, and they'll just take out the ones that are necessary, and so on and so on. So it'll be much much easier. Uh, okay, so if I get rid of this wall along here, then I can get the um, the iron refinery in reasonably close to the uh, lead one. So I don't want, I don't, I don't want to waste too much space around here. That's probably more than enough. Okay, so I want a very, very similar design, I think, to this one. The question is, because I'm going to I'm going to need a lot more iron than I do um, than I do lead. Should I be planning to have a lot more um, a lot more crushers in there? Because because I'm going to obviously going to want the higher throughput. Or have I over specced the lead one enough that just copying this design will be sufficient? I think what I'll probably do is I'll copy the basic design. But I'll spread these two inner belts out, so, it, so instead of just having two sets of four, I'll have four sets of four. Um, I think that should probably be enough. And if it turns out to not be enough, then I can split off a second belt from the output of each of these as well, and have four belts with potentially two sets of four on each side, and that's um, 32, I think. So, um, yeah, let's get started on that. So what I'm going to do is make a copy of this to start with. Now, unfortunately, I've put the um, the Rubite station directly on the um, directly on the main line coming in up here. That's probably a mistake. I should probably have shifted the whole thing across a bit, uh, but it doesn't really matter. It just, it just means I'll have to put a couple of loops in for the um, for the other station, and, they, and things won't line up quite as nicely as I'd like them to. But eh, Celebi, it's not it's not a big deal. So put that there. Don't need so much of that. And have that can come in like that, and. <laughs> it's almost, yeah, almost, but not quite, able to um, just do a, a, a neat, nice neat loop there. That's a shame. Okay, and now we start building. This is the uh, this is the time-consuming part, and is the point where I, again, just usually start ranting about bots. But I'll try not to do that too much this time, because you've, oops, you've all heard that before. Oh, that's a thought. This is going to produce enormous quantities of crushed stone because I'm producing iron, and iron is something that's in high demand, so I'm going to need lots of it. Um, that one belt I've got going off up to the top probably isn't going to be enough. Um, I think I'll probably just drop the iron, on, the, no, the uh, crushed stone onto it anyway, and see what happens. Because if it does, if it does overflow, it's it's not the end of the world. I can then go, okay, that clearly wasn't enough, and then build and build something bigger. And I've got the yellow belts, and they're reasonably um, reasonably quick. So hopefully, you know, it might not it might not be too bad. Okay, so here I'm going to take these off to the other side. Like, oh, there isn't going to be room for that at all. 
like that. And I've got my outputs here. Should I have these output onto the same? No, I shouldn't have these output onto the same belt because I'm doing the um, the thing where I use the thing where I use the near side inserters to just completely fill the belts up. This isn't fitting because of the changes I'm trying to make. I'm going to have to rethink this a bit, I think. Oh well. Oops. <laughs> ah, I'm building those on the um, thing uh, bus now, aren't I? Let's go and get mm, 360. Yeah, let's go and get some more of all, all of the belt stuff because I'm going to rip through a lot of it doing this, I can tell. Right, so that's splitters, undergrounds, those. Oh, oh. As usual, I need to empty my inventory out a bit, so let's go and get rid of some junk. In fact, I could get rid of this this way. I don't want so many walls. Where's my wall production? It's up here somewhere, I think. Yeah, there it is. And of course it's full. Uh, maybe I should just leave another... Oops, I'm carrying around too much rubbish box. I think I've got those down here as well. Yeah, there's one. Uh, let's give it some turrets. And nope, I won't give it some walls because it's full. Oosh. There. Right, let's try and get some more um, belt parts again like that. And like... Actually, I've got... Yeah, I've got enough. Now, move this a bit further out like that. And that gives me some room in between to mess around with the um, with the inputs and getting things on the right belts and so on. I should have picked up some more of those. Where are they being built? Here. Forgot there's supposed to be a gap in there. Uh, I've gone wrong. That should be that way around. I'm confused. I can't tell which way around these inserters are without them being powered. Uh, <laughs> let's get some power down here. Okay, those are right. Those are right. Are now right. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we're all. I think that's all good. Yes, that all looks right. Good. And I want you to. You're all going to be crushing stuff, right? There we go. Okay. Good. So my plan was. Um, can I move it up at all? Yeah. Let's put it there. It's going to have an output there. Yeah. Put that. Put that there. Oops. Okay. So this needs a splitter on it, like that. This needs to go across it. No, nope, not that one. This one. And we have our coal supply coming in the top like this. And I'm going to deliberately leave a gap there for now so I don't have the whole thing filling up while I'm still trying to build it because I'm probably going to have got something wrong during the, during the uh, construction process. Now, and I was splitting each of these as they came out so that one can go up to here and to here. Oops, that. Okay. Sometimes it seems like the... Um, you can't accidentally draw over a ghost you're not supposed to be drawing over, and sometimes it seems like you can. I wish it would make its mind up. And what? Okay. Oh, I see, I see what's going on here. So the next output, we'll have another splitter, and that can go to here and here. Yeah, that all looks good. And then this one comes miles down here, and we have another thing like this. Um, like that. Oh. Oh. Uh, what's gonna survive longest? <laughs> oh dear. Not my um, turrets, that's for sure. Oh dear, oh dear. Time to rush up there like the cavalry and hopefully make it in time to rescue some of my um, some of my base. Do I have any ammunition? 26, don't have very many. Oops. And I don't have any turrets left because I ditched them all when I started doing building work. Oh no. What's it attacking now? It's making its way along the wall of turrets. That's sort of good. Cause it means it's not attacking anything else. Oop, like me. Just die, you... That was a bit difficult. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's taking out six turrets. <sighs> right, um, yeah, obviously I need more, a lot more, um, a lot more repair packs, uh, no, a lot more um, turrets along there to, to deal with that sort of thing. And probably some sniper turrets as well to provide some covering fire. <sighs> Why did I play with biters? Peaceful mode is so much more, well, peaceful. But, to be fair, it's not much of a challenge without the biters. You can just expand as fast as you like, take over as much space as you like. I mean, th actually, that's not entirely true. It is still fairly challenging, especially with something like Angel Bobs to um, to worry about. But it does make it, it makes it a lot easier. Let's take one pack of walls. And, oh dear, where did the turrets have some turrets? These all? Okay. Take a stack of each of those. Still got burner inserters? Yes, still got loads of burner inserters. Although, of course, if there's no ammunition getting up to them, then all, all the um, turrets and inserters in the world aren't going to do a lot of good. No worries. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, at least for now. They seem to be able to cope on that side because there's more of them. Hmm. I wonder if I can convince those um, blue biters to come and attack the walls where they're going to get hopefully killed. Does that mean I can then get up there and take out that 
nest just by running around and machine gunning it. There is still one big dude left there though, so it's probably not that safe yet. Okay, and where are my snipers? There are the snipers. There is no overkill, right? Yeah, there's no such thing. No overkill, only open fire and time to reload, as the saying goes. Okay, let's go and start a fight. Much better. <laughs> if only I had the ammunition for a stained fight like that. <laughs> okay, let's go and deal with that nest before it produces any more blue ones. Oh, it's produced a blue spitter. That's not so bad, I think. Because they're not as, nothing like as tough. Probably do a lot more damage, though. Why am I not using grenades? Oh, no. That's bad. The worm gone? Oh, I've run out of ammunition. Oh, no, I haven't run out of ammunition. I'm just not shooting for some reason. There we go. Phew. Right. Um, I, I do accept that, to an extent, having taken out that nest makes this massive level r row of um, artillery here a bit superfluous but still there's n I'm not going to bother picking it up for now I'll just come up and do the same sort of <laughs> that was um, ter actually terrifying probably shouldn't be using the um, the rail bridges to drive across given how dangerous trains are in this game um, but they are uh, they are rather convenient okay where was I Actually, while I think of it let's have a quick look at the um, stations. So this is now up to 39,000 coal. That's that's great. That's going to last for quite a long time, even under heavy load, I think. I'd still quite like to have a second unloader here, and a sec possibly even a second belt coming out, but that can that can wait until after I've moved this um, iron system. Which, yeah, seems to be working. The iron's coming through. We are actually keeping up now. It's just the, um, the ammunition belt down here that's uh, using it up faster than I can faster than it's coming through everything else I think I think the rest of the base is more or less idle which is why not correct which is why it's um, not actually using too much iron at the moment okay ah yes down here so we have a splitter in here Oops. Uh, okay now we're oh all right that needs more guns as well I can tell there's um it's gonna be a problem sooner or later I'll head over there in a bit it, the um the walls are built up enough over there that they can withstand quite a lot of attacks I think I hope that's what they're there for, at least. Right, that's the belts. I presumably don't have any... Um, I've got ten furnaces. don't have any bricks, of course, because I dumped all of it because I'm, my inventory was full. It's not even bricks, I need it's stone. Um, down here. Yes, there we go. Oh, I've gone beyond what one power pole can cover. <laughs> that's slightly inconvenient. I've also gone beyond what I built belts for as well, which is a bit, also a bit daft. But no. The big problem with producing all of the iron down here is that the entire rest of the base is based around the iron coming from a different direction. Um, so it means I do need to no, around. It means I need to turn round a lot of the um, a lot of the belts that are running up the middle here. So if I pipe the iron in to join in, say here, then all of these bits where iron is being taken off the belt needs to be turned round. The belt itself needs to be turned round, so it's running the other way, so it's running upwards. It's bringing iron up to all of the the things up here that require it. This second belt, well, it's more or less useless at the moment, but I'll need to fit in a second iron belt down here somewhere, taking in, in case any any iron needs to go further up, or at least I will if I need to take it further up. But that's not not um, insurmountable. Okay, I think that's. Oh yeah, power. Can't see the. Okay, is that right? So it has to go there. I'm very confused. I can't I can't see what's going on with these power poles. I'm going to start again. So need one. There and there, there, there. Okay, and then put that there. Now the coal will flow into all of the um, inputs. The furnaces will pick up the coal as they require it. And then all I'm missing then is the um, stereotype. So if I rename this sapphire, sapphire, not stereotype, sapphire drop. And then yeah. So at the moment the um, this train is going to take it to to here because it's to this one because it's closer. But if I get rid of this, that. Oh, okay. Uh, don't go to the pond. That one needs to be called Sephiroth Drop. Clubfoot did things in the right order, wouldn't it? Uh, that. Then tell this train to go to Sephiroth Drop until it's empty. What I think I need to do, since it's going to be a while till I get any better inserters, is probably going to be to link, to have another set of inserters around here on the other side, just to, just to fill these trains up a bit quicker. 
and then maybe another set of unloaders on this side because I don't think I, I can't really rush stack inserters I mean I can rush the re research for them which is what I'm doing at the moment but there's going to be so much development required to get to get this the systems up to, to build them that it's yeah it's going to be a major undertaking so oh, I'm not bothering with this am I so, yeah. um yeah, it's going to be such a major undertaking to actually build the stack inserters that there's no point in trying to rush it at the moment. I might as well just keep trying to keep keep on trying to get this um, sort of these sort of facilities up and running at a decent speed. Okay, so the next thing is the outputs of these of this system because I do still want to be able to expand this, especially when I move up, move on to higher tier belts later. I'm going to detree quite a large area and run the belts out quite a long way because so I do want to be able to fit in at least ten, maybe more of the um, um, furnaces. Well, actually that's only out to about here, so it's, it's not quite as big an area as I was thinking. But let's leave plenty of space anyway. Now what I'm doing here is because the top, the first and last ones on these systems always have, always only get filled up on one side, if I do this, that will then join them into a, into a single belt. So at this point, I've got my full one, two, three, four, five, six belts coming out of the system. Now, at the moment, I don't have room for all of that iron to be going onto my bus, so, so I'll just split that down. Okay, how do I do a, three, a 6 to 2? I don't, apparently. Do a 6 to 4, maybe, and then merge them. Or a 3 to 2. 3 to 2 would do. It's much nicer. Um, this is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, oh no, I'll just make one go. Yeah. Uh, need to go in both directions. One can go down and under, like that. The other can go up ground in a slightly awkward way like that and then there's this sort of business all the way up as I as I turn things around this is going to be really really fiddly oh uh oh <sighs> nope no rest for the wicked do I have some ammunition this time yes I do oh dear now they're really getting into killing off the turrets I think I shall go and sort this out and then call this a fairly short episode because I started playing a bit late today so yeah oh okay. <laughs> or alternatively I'll just Rampage around the base, crushing everything as I go. Uh, another of the things on my sort of vague thought of a to-do list. Has it been killed? I guess I think it has. Um, another thing I've been sort of thinking about, thinking that I should do at some point, is to build um, roads everywhere. So rather than going, oh, what's the best way to get through this base? It's a bit of a squeeze, ah, all the time. I can just get on a road, and I know that because it's there and because it's a marked road, charge through it as fast as I like and it'll be safe. Oh, the one got through here as well. Is that? Hang on, where did that one come from? Or well, more to the point, how did it get to there without attacking other things and destroying them? That's very strange. <laughs> and these aren't even the dragon's teeth I've been having all those um, warnings from. These ones have been getting it relatively mildly. <clears throat> You're in the wrong place, Sunshine. Oh, I'm still in the wrong place. Is that going to be enough? I hope so. I mean, obviously it still needs the ammunition to come through. Maybe that's something else I should be building up. A bit more ammunition creation. <laughs> uh, it's literally just down to the iron supplies being so low. Okay, let's put in that. There we go. Now at least it should be producing ammunition at the right, at the speed I intend it to when I was building all that rather than horrifically slowly because it's running out of iron. God, blimey. I'm actually not sure it's worth repairing these um, wall sections. I should probably be just ripping them out and replacing them because I suspect that the resource used to create wall is actually functionally a lot cheaper than the resource used to create repair packs. Turrets are a completely different matter. It's definitely worth rebuild repairing turrets. But walls, not so sure. So these are still being useful in the fight down this down this distance. I think maybe these should be snipers. This is probably foolish, but I'm going to sneak out and grab the um, this stuff. Oop, slightly foolish. I'm starting to think these sniper turrets are a bit good, and they're probably the, the answer to dealing with the... Um, the large biters, at least at this stage of the game, because they, whilst they're not one-shotting the big spitters, then it's not far off. They're definitely a lot more lethal than the uh, normal turrets. Although that said, I think the normal turrets still have the place to take out the the hordes of the little guys that come running in every so often. But now I've got a decent array of snipers all the way along here. I think that might be capable of defending itself a bit better. Right, so that's that one. This one is. Well, it's better defender, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, that was a that's an inserter being stupid and trying to put coal in the turret. Don't care. Ammo construction. Well, it's it's got a full belt of full half belt of iron coming in and it's using it all up. So, I think that's all I can really ask for. 
Um, it's coming out at a fair old clip, actually. A uh, pun entirely unintentional, I promise. And there was another bit here that isn't radared. I should probably, probably fix that at some point. Where's it got to along here? Okay, so it's got to here. It is making its way all the way along, I think. Yeah, that's definitely got longer. It was up here before. Okay. And down here, are we still happy? Yeah, this has got fully backed up. That's great. So there's lots of ammunition down here. Oh, uh, only uh, up to here, at least. Still, that's, that's pretty good. There's a lot more to go in, but yeah, that'll do. Okay, good. Uh, oh, that's just a burner inserter being crap. That's fair enough. I'm getting close to having stack inserters, or at least having the research for stack inserters done. <coughs> Nowhere near actually being able to make things, though. Okie dokie. So, where was I? Oh, yes, yeah, so I was finishing off that. I was finishing turning around the iron bus. That's what I was doing. That, I think, is probably better achieved on foot than in a car. So this is where it's going to come in. And it's going to... That's not right. Oh, it is. So, yeah, it comes up around here and then goes that way, yes. And that's been fixed. Okay. Up here, this is clearly wrong. Is that, been, that needs rotating. That, oh, actually, I'll put that there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. This is just going to be exactly the same. Go. Sorry, I realise I've gone very, very quiet here. Um, this takes more concentration than you'd expect to get it right. And if I get it wrong, then I'll end up in iron, with iron somewhere I don't want. Or, alternatively, no iron somewhere I do want. And nobody wants either of those. No, that way. So you. Ah, no. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I meant. If I don't concentrate, concentrate keep an eye on it. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, right. Yes, that'll do, as long as the Sapphirite train has come down. Interesting, that's not... Oh, there's no signals up here, that's why that's having problems. That makes sense. I don't know why it's coming from that direction, though, that doesn't make sense. Uh, run out of signals. Okay, some of these should be clearly be chain signals, like... There should be a chain signal there, and there, and there. Otherwise, right, okay. Uh, why are they not emptying? Don't tell me these aren't real inserters yet, that's why. Oh, I've just realised this is going to be very unbalanced because I've got the top carriage feeding two rows and the bottom carriage only feeding one because I ran out of um, um, crushers to put it all in place. That's a bit of a fail. Uh, that's going to cause problems later. Uh, uh, I should probably fix that up or I'll... Well, let's just make sure the, the basic theory works first. So I've got iron coming out, so that's so far so good. And it doesn't feel like an enormous amount of it, but then it's all going to get combined as it goes through these splitters up here. So maybe it'll it'll add up. We'll see we'll see how it feels. Looking at the um, the way the belt's feeding in at the moment, I oh I've not got anywhere for the <laughs> crush zone to go. That's why it's choked up. There we go. There's going to be a lot going up there. I guess we'll see if it's okay, if it's okay once it's um, cleared out a bit. He says optimistically. I think it is clearing out. I admit I'm not quite sure. The question is how long can this go on for before it... Okay, this can go on quite a long way before it hits any sort of actual impediment. So that's okay for now. There we go, yeah, that's running full, full tilt now. <coughs> and I've got nearly a belt of iron coming out. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, it's not enough. These are all backed up, so I can put more furnaces in, that's good. So I think the next thing is going to be to double the number of furnaces along here, put eight, eight in each um, each row, finish off this bit, put the other four crushers in, um, and at that point, yeah, at that point I should get an easy two streams of, um, of iron coming out of there, and maybe set it up so one goes up and one goes down, when they're all getting used for inserters, fair enough. No, for science. Okay, that's also, also okay. I think this is basically okay, my biggest concern, it's interesting. Oh, uh, right, okay, I see. Um, yeah, my biggest concern about this is whether there's going to be enough of a buffer in these chests for this to keep ticking over and pumping the stuff out while it, um, while the train goes off to go and get some more of it. Um, yeah, it's also <laughs> not being unloaded quickly enough for um, for these machines here. Oh, I want faster utilities. Okay, well, I think for now that's going pretty well. Um, I think it's a good point to call it an episode, because I'm, I'm at a point where there, there's no immediate crises, that is a concern and that I will need to deal with at some point um, because it's a bit too close for comfort. That one, is that new? I don't know. Um, they're within the radar range but they're not too much of a worry. These guys here, they're just... well, they, I, I'll think of them as the supply of those purple ball things. 
I need to signal up my railways a bit better. That's something to put on the to-do list. Um, so I need a, and basically I just need to signal every um, every train length just to keep the trains flowing nicely. But for now, I think yes, that's, that's gone quite well. I'll um, I'll call that an episode. Let's see if I can get a nice um, place to stop. Yeah, call it an episode here, as ever. This is going to be a short one, I think, but never mind. As ever, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.